Hey, first on five, we have team coverage of the unrest at Holman Prison in Atmore. After a weekend of chaos at Holman, authorities lost control of at least one prison dormitory again today. News 5's Debbie Williams begins our team coverage live outside the gates of Holman with the latest. Debbie? The maximum security prison remains on lockdown. It's been that way since Friday, but still about 8.30 this morning. Two inmates get into it. One is stabbed, and then a disturbance ensues that we're told was as bad as the one over Friday night. Video taken today inside Holman Prison shows uh, any of the, it doesn't show any of the chaos that we saw over the weekend. A Department of Corrections spokesman says about 70 inmates were involved, and they had barricaded themselves in the same area where that right it happened Friday night. An emergency response team from Montgomery arrived around 1 o'clock. Escambia County Sheriff's deputies also called to help to get the prison back under control. Around 2 o'clock, we saw at least four sheriff's units headed toward the prison. Now, earlier today, we heard from an inmate who called News 5 and said he was inside the prison and described what was happening. The inmates were not going to stand down by no means, and as a result, the riot team is here is probably... 50 or more, and if I'm not mistaken, the state troopers and the local police department are also here. So, you know, with that being said, the inmates have weapons, the officers have weapons. As far as we know, at this point, there was only the one injury with the inmate being stabbed by the other inmate. We are told, sources tell News 5 right now, that they have regained control of Holman Prison. We are hoping to get more updated information shortly. Live at Atmore, Debbie Williams, News 5. All right, thank you, Debbie. The inmates barricaded themselves today inside a prison dormitory, and tonight we have exclusive video from inside that barricaded area, giving you a good look at the rioting taking place. J.B. Buno did a video interview with some of the inmates, so J.B., obviously, these inmates still had smartphones even after that search that was conducted on Friday. Yeah, Pete, I mean, these inmates, they've been very, very crafty at hiding cell phones within the prison. They told us that, so when the news of this second riot first broke on WKRG.com, it didn't take us long to scour the internet and find an inmate with a cell phone behind the barricade. I want you to see what everybody is doing. Point the count. You're looking at the prison dorm held by the inmates rioting inside Holman Corrections Facility. We have barricaded the front door. Look how there was tonight by health with an AR-15 with a scope. The men don't give us their names. We don't want no knives. Instead, they give us a tour. We are showing us what they call a non-violent protest. It's true, we see a lot of inmates just sitting around, but remember, they have the camera, and they're only showing what they want you to see. We're taken around this barricaded area with a show-and-tell of their living conditions. It's a series of complaints, like broken toilets, moldy walls, overflowing trash, and other oddities. Let's show them the inside of the pocket area. Ain't no plate in there. This is the type of stuff. This is how we got to warm our food. They even take us into the shower, where they tell us the shower heads are broken, and they wash off with sink water. Then we enter this room. More than 20 inmates are watching television. Erupting into cheer when the story of their uprising makes the local news. But they cover their faces when the camera is pointed at them. We again enter the main dorm area, and something happens. Our phone call comes to an abrupt end. With no contact at all since that look behind the barricade. Now, as Debbie mentioned, with sources regaining control of the prison, it's really possible here that law enforcement regained control right at that moment because the end of that phone call, it sounded so chaotic, at least from our end. And Pete, we've done several interviews with prisoners in there by cell phone. They're all saying the same thing here. They're saying that the overcrowding is a huge problem that they're fed up with, and it's a problem that Governor Bentley himself has acknowledged. All right, and something the legislature's been trying to deal with for years and years. Thanks, J.B.